you uh, for being here this morning. And I want to thank uh, the supporters of all ethnic groups that are here, particularly the men and women of the clergy that's here, that have joined me here today. And we are not surprised. We expected this. This is not surprising to us at all. The actions that have unfolded over the last 10 months, yeah. the, the leaks, the commentary, the demonizing, this did not surprise us that we reached this day. And I ask New Yorkers to wait to hear our defense before making any judgments. In about 30 minutes, you're going to hear a story of the case that is in front of us. This story will come from the federal prosecutors. And I ask to wait and hear our side to this narrative. From here, my attorneys will take care of the case so I can take care of the city. My day-to-day -day will not change. I will continue to do the job for 8.3 million New Yorkers that I was elected to do. Amen. Amen. And the 300,000 plus employees of our city government mm -hmm. will continue to do their jobs. Because this is what we do as New Yorkers. It's an insult to the hardworking people of the city that anyone would say that they won't do their jobs while this case proceeds in the background. They are dedicated public servants, and I have been one of them for many years, and they're going to continue to do their job moving the city forward every day. It's an unfortunate day, and it's a painful day. But inside of all of that, it's a day where we will finally reveal why for 10 months I have gone through this. And I look forward to defending myself yeah. and defending the people of this city God, as I've done throughout my entire professional career. That's right. 